All right, all right. Okay, welcome back to daily on the my 1000 day challenge. This day 556. So let's get things started. As you understand, today is a Monday itself. So similarly, I'm just going to do a very quick run through for Bitcoin sell. So it seems that the tide has definitely turned for Bitcoin sell. We actually have this upload trend line. We seem to be breaking it, reaching it above it. So to the closing can still be a very key resistance or key determinant factor itself. So we definitely do want it to close above the 50 simple moving average. In addition to that, the retracement period has also hit this timeline as you have remembered. This was similarly the timeline that we actually happened over here as well, around 63 days period. And we can do a measurement from somewhere along here to somewhere along here. Hmm. Over here 72. So I guess I measure somewhere near there but not exactly to the point. Oh, I think what I did was measure from here all the way to here itself. Yeah. So tentatively when it hit the lows over here, yeah, that was how I get the 63 days, which was between here, the main drop, and then the main potential reversal inside. So similarly, we are getting somewhat similar pattern over here. The term frame or the length of the retracement seems to have hit the 63 day mark. Or I wouldn't say the exact magical number 63 days, but rather to say the range itself. So between two months to two and a half months of retracement period itself, there is a tendency for it to give time for people to reaccumulate, for it to potentially move towards the next up phase itself. So yeah. Let's see how things goes. But basically on the four-hour chart, I do see, I do not see an opportunity just yet. If you're looking on four-hour chart, simply because here it's looking a little bit parabolic. You can see this upslope, this upslope, trend line, then we're breaking it, retesting it, and then breaking it above. But bearing in mind that still have resistance at the 45k region itself. Mm, I definitely do have resistance over here. Yeah, taking a look over here to here. Okay, so now that this retracement or actually we reuse a different kind of Fibonacci retracement measurement itself. So in terms of retracement key resistances, we do see over here is a 46.7k region itself. I delete away this box itself to make it less confusing. But basically key resistances that I do see potentially will be somewhere along here, which coincide the 200 day exponential moving average itself, above which we also have a key resistances over here. So if we do face some sort of a push towards the upside and the retracement, there'll be a really good potential. So to me right now itself, I'm actually going to add a small potential percentage volume into Bitcoin itself, even though it may not look at the best price. But if you look in terms of mid to long term wise, we definitely do see a shift of momentum itself. So that's something to bear in mind. And over on the four hour chart itself, things looks to be really parabolic itself. But bear in mind that when Bitcoin does go parabolic, it can definitely have a very strong push towards the upside, even with retracement. You could still be seeing the 44 and 43k region itself. So adding right now here is not necessarily a bad move, especially if you look in terms of mid to long term perspective itself. All right. And otherwise, that's more or less about it. But when it comes to trading wise, definitely not an ideal position to add, simply because we do not have a good risk to reward setup in terms of where you put your stop loss. If you were to put your stop loss wise, you'll be a little bit too wide and your risk to reward would not be ideal in this particular perspective. Otherwise, that's more or less about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop your comments below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.